It is 612. This morning, Congress is still in a stalemate over the whether, the whether to let your taxes go up in January. This issue is over the payroll tax cut. The president and Democrats want the House to pass the Senate plan to extend the cuts for two months. Republicans are calling for a year-long extension. According to analysts, if the cut is not extended, a person making $50,000 a year will pay an extra $1,000 in taxes. Let's go live now to Capitol Hill and a man who's in the middle of the mix, Indiana Congressman Larry Bouchon. Thanks for being up early with us on Daybreak, Congressman. Oh, good morning. It's great to be here. Yeah. Unusual news in this case. It seems, and correct me if I'm wrong, that both sides of the aisle want to extend it. But if something doesn't happen, there may be no extension at all. Is that correct? Well, let me tell you, I'm very optimistic we'll get an extension. Uh, both sides uh, in, of Congress want this extended. The Democrats, the Republicans, the President wants this extended. We, uh, first of all, that's not where the disagreement lies. The other thing to remember is this is how Congress is supposed to work. We just had a national defense authorization bill. A bill was approved in the House. A bill was approved in the Senate. They worked together in conference, worked out the differences, and then we passed the National Defense Authorization Act. So this is the way regular order is supposed to work in the Congress. The House passed, we passed our bill, the Senate passed their bill, and we need to get to conference and work out the differences. Uh, you know, the, I think that uh, we shouldn't get all bound up in the fact that there's conflict here in D.C. This is the way it's supposed to be working. But Congressman, it appears that uh, some from the Senate have gone home already for their for their holiday break. Can this get done? If you need to get into conference, don't you need both sides here? Well, you do. In fact, the matter is, uh, I, I think both sides will come together. I mean, I was a heart surgeon before this, and let me tell you, I worked many holidays because people don't decide when they're going to have a heart attack. So uh, the, the Christmas break should have nothing to do with it. Uh, we have 10 days now to get the conference together, get the deal done. Like I said, the National Defense Authorization Act, a huge bill, was worked out in less than a week at conference, and then uh, passed the uh, House and the Senate and was instituted. This is the way Congress is supposed to work. One branch is not supposed to just pass a bill, dump it on the desk of the other side uh, of the Capitol, and say, you need to pass our bill. That's just not the way it's worked. This has been done this way since 1789. Thomas Jefferson set this up. So uh, everybody uh, needs to realize we will get uh, the tax cut extensions passed. I'm, very, I'm optimistic. But uh, we need to go to conference with the Senate and work out our differences. You're in a position to know whether this, in this case, uh, for Republicans in the House anyway, is a situation where the leadership is directing the members or the members going to leadership and saying, this is how our constituents want this to work. Kind of give us the process at this point, at least from the House side. Well, it's a cooperative effort. The leadership uh, has a plan. Uh, but let me tell you, every district in America is different. I have the 8th Congressional District in Indiana. And what they're telling me is the uncertainty of passing a two-month extension doesn't do anything for them. You have physicians out there that are looking at a 27% pay cut. You have all of our citizens looking at a, a dramatic increase in their taxes if we don't get this passed. So it's a cooperative effort, uh, on, on really on both sides of the aisle amongst the leadership. Uh, and the rank and file members. Uh, I'm representing Indiana's 8th Congressional District. That's, what, that's who I, I work for. And uh, I want a year-long extension. Uh, I think a two-month extension is r irresponsible. And also, the physician uh, doc fix, so to speak, we have a two-year extension in place. We cannot continue at the end of every year to put seniors at risk of not being able to access their physicians because this comes up every year. We need to fix this. Well, we will certainly see how all this plays out, especially as we approach that, that deadline. Representative Larry Bouchon, thank you so much for joining us this morning and sorting it all out for us. We appreciate it. Well, you're welcome. It was great to be here. Interesting. He makes the point, and, and it's a good one as well. This isn't just about the payroll tax cut. It's about unemployment benefits mm -hmm. extension, uh, issues over Medicare and, and what to pay doctors uh, under the, the going plan. So the payroll tax is the headline. There are a lot of issues that need to be hammered out. And as he said, though, they have to get into conference to do that. And so it seems just both sides of the aisle are really being stubborn about that. So again, we'll see how it all plays out.